Hello, and uh, what we want to do here in this video is we, we want to um, teach you how to multiply complex numbers. So we're just going to take a look at these two problems here, and hopefully that'll be enough to um, get you going to handle most circumstances. So the first one I want to show you here is a very basic problem. We have a real number being multiplied by a complex number. Okay, this is very easy. All you have to do in a situation like this is simply dis uh, use a distributive property and distribute that real number inside of the parentheses. So that'll be 3 times 4, which would be 12, of course, plus 3 times 5i, and that is 15i. So very easy um, when you're faced with a situation like this. Now let's talk about something a little bit more interesting. Let me pull this over here. And that is when you have a complex number being multiplied by another complex number. And um, this is going to require a little bit more work, but this is almost exactly like working with binomial multiplication. Let me show you an example. If I said, say, 2x plus y and multiply that by x minus 3y, um, if you're watching this video and you're learning about complex numbers, you should be able to handle this particular uh, problem. Okay, you would basically, most of you would use that FOIL technique, first, outer, inner, inner last and uh, multiply the terms here and then you would get your uh, product and get the result. That's exactly what we're going to do here. So when you have two binomial complex numbers, and, and remember a complex number is made up of a real part. Let me pull, show you this here real quick. So 2 plus 2i is a complex number and it has a real part to it and an imaginary part. Okay, so all complex numbers come in the form of a real plus an imaginary part. Okay, So in other words, they're all binomials. There's two, two um, terms that make up the complex number. Okay, So we're going to use the FOIL technique, first, outer, inner, last, um, to multiply the, uh, these two complex numbers. So let me go ahead and get going. And we'll start with the first. So this is going to be the first term of, of each number. So 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to write that here. And then we'll add that to the outer. So that will be 2 times a negative 7i. All right, so we'll add that to a negative 14i. OK. And now we'll move on to the inner. That's what the i stands for. So that's 2i times 3. So that will be a 6i. And now we have to just do the last. Let me get this out of the way here. The last refers to uh, is going to refer to 2i times a negative 7i. So that's going to be a negative. We're going to add that to a negative 14i squared. You've got to be really careful with that i squared part. Okay. All right. So now you can see we can start adding up some of these resulting um, products. So we had. 6 plus, we can take care of these i's here, negative 14i plus 6i. That would give us, let's see here, negative 8i plus, now what we have to do is figure out what to do with this negative 14i squared. Some of you might say, well, it's, you know, it's about as far as it can be simplified, but that's not the case at all, right? Let's take a closer look at that negative 14i squared, all right? I want to I want you to focus in on the i squared part. Now remember, i i is equal to the square root of negative 1. If you square i, okay, if I square both sides, so I get i squared, that radical is going to go away. So i squared is equal to negative 1. And hopefully, you know, like I said, if you're studying complex numbers, you should, you should know that or, or recall that. Okay, so i squared is equal to negative 1. So therefore, negative 14i squared is really negative 14 times negative 1. So negative 14 times negative 1 is, of course, a positive 14. So don't, don't let this fool you here. This negative 14i squared is really a positive 14. So let's write that right here. And now let's go ahead and simplify this further. So I can add these real numbers here, 6 and 14. And that will give us 20. So now we have 20 plus negative 8i, and we're done. Now think about it. We just took a complex number, 
All right. Okay. Remember, a complex number has a real and imaginary portion, a um, um, real and imaginary part to it. Multiply it by another complex number. So the result is in uh, the product is in fact itself a complex number. It also has a real and imaginary part to it. Okay. So that's basically it. Just if you know the FOIL technique and you watch out for those I squared part of the problem, you should be fine. Just be careful with all these little negative signs. Um, you know, my experience, students understand it, but they go quick and then they just make a little, mis you know, arithmetic mistake. So if you're not getting the right answers, uh, chances are you're, you're probably just making a little, little mistake. So write out your steps clearly. Okay, I hope this video helped. Good luck.